Welcome to Talking Art, Episode 7. We are at the start of our fall art season, and we are thrilled to be exhibiting monumental canvases by the artist Gene Davis. He was a significant painter within the Washington Color School and during the color field era. We feel that these two classic movements are going to captivate collectors for decades to come. We are featuring five canvases titled Flamingo, which have significant history and figure prominently in Davis's site-specific commissions during his lifetime. In 1970, Stanley Marcus commissioned Gene Davis to do these large-scale canvases for his newly built Val Harbor store. Davis has been noted as saying that he never planned his colors more than five stripes ahead, and sometimes he even changed it by the third stripe. I think it's interesting to note that if you look at these panels individually, each one is incredibly different from the next in varying widths and bands of color. As we get to the fifth panel, the tone goes quiet and the panel is significantly narrower. I personally find that these compositions are like musical scores and that he wanted your eye to be surprised and to simply enjoy the variations. The title, Flamingos, may have been playfully inspired by the fact that it was going to a Florida location. Gene Davis's body of work is deep and well-rounded and has good museum representation. We feel he is highly undervalued and can move toward the seven-figure mark in the upcoming five years. We are taking a strong stand that Davis is an artist like others we have handled like Larry Poons, Vivian Springford, Michael West, and Ernie Barnes that will rise sharply in the market.